Well, GE's conference call is just underway right now. Jeff Immelt speaking. Uh, let's talk about those results, though, with fund manager Jim Hardesty. He is president of Hardesty Capital Management, and Jim owns 466,000 shares of GE stock, having just added a bit to that position. And Jim, thanks so much for being with us again. Thank you. Now, I know you were right with us as those numbers were breaking. Uh, one of the things that caught my uh, ear listening to you was that uh, with these results, you wonder why GE had to cut its dividend. Do you expect any type of clarity on this? Well, I think I don't want to cut the dividend. It was the magnitude of the dividend cut that telegraphed that the business conditions were considerably worse than I would have thought. Uh, a 50 percent reduction might have been more appropriate. Hmm. Okay. Well, overall, though, Jim, do you feel that GE has delivered what you needed to know going forward? I think this quarter reflected very difficult economic conditions and worldwide, but I think that uh, this is consistent with what we were expecting. We see this as a second half stock in that 2010 stock uh, as the economies turn, and we think we're in the process of turning right now. Uh, how would you judge, how would you grade the company in terms of cutting costs right now? Cutting costs, I'd give them a B plus. Okay, why? I think they're doing a good job. Okay, but not an A, though. What's missing? Well, uh, I'm a pretty tough grader myself. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's, uh, they, they still have uh, plenty of, of operating uh, uh, expense to work on in a company of that size. I think it's just give, give them more time, and I think they'll be an A company. Right, and the question, though, for GE and also for a lot of companies is when do we get back to org organic top-line growth? When is that for GE? What are you looking for there? Uh, no later than two th for January 1, 2010. I think this economy is very much like the 1957-58 recession, and it's going to prove surprising in the speed with which it comes back, as it did then. Okay. And Jim, you know, some of those that are shorting GE stock point to the fact that it still has a very high debt-to-equity ratio. Is that any concern for you as you hold that stock? I think they're doing their very best to bring down their exposure to finance as a percentage of total operating income, and that will lead to a reduction in the debt levels as well. So I think they're working in the right direction on that debt number. Okay. And, uh, of course, the big question with GE always is what about GE Capital, uh, expected to produce a profit this year of between 2 to $2.5 Do you see that they're on track for that, Jim? They probably will make that number, but let's, let's be real. That, that number is way off of what it was capable of doing three, four years ago. So we've got a long way to go to rebuilding GE Capital. Okay. And what do you want to hear from this conference call, Jim? Well, I want to hear that they've seen um, orders picking up or the prospective orders in their industrial businesses, that, that they see the end of the recession on a worldwide global basis. We, we feel business conditions outside the United States are, are significantly improved in the last several months. And if we can hear that from them, I would be very happy. Okay. Jim, thanks so much for staying with us for more analysis on GE results. Jim Hardesty, president of Hardesty Capital Management, live with us throughout this morning. And